Ah, dude, <laughs> that's awesome. Sure, the more the merrier. Oh, I got a companion. Oh man, yeah, playing this wrong the whole whole damn time. All right, cool. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna try and get back to where I was without too much, you know. Dude, really? That is the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Did I save just as he walked into that? No, dude, don't, 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 don't run into the thing. Yeah, it's there. Come this way. Come this way. Oh my god, that was like, just barely saved his ass. So he can die in anomalies too. That's. I don't really like his chances of survival, to be honest. <laughs> I'll try and keep him alive. Oh, this guy's telling me about that animal mask. So, what was he saying? I recently encountered something weird, to say the least. I spent a night in one of the houses in the village in the attic. I laid down on the mattress and noticed something on the ground, all covered in dust. It turned out to be an old mask, like an animal mask for a kid's birthday party or something. I was bored as fuck, so I put it on. Thought I would scare the folk in the village, but I was too tired and just went back to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night thinking someone called me by my name. I got up, looked around, saw no one. Okay. I started hearing voices on a regular basis after that. Female, male, all kinds of them. At first, they were quiet, as if someone whispered to me, but then they started shouting. I would sit at a campfire and someone would scream into my ear. I jumped every single time. Everyone made fun of me for this shit, all because nobody else heard the voices. What did the voices say? Two things on repeat. What were they? I should be voice acting for this. <laughs> Remember and find this place. Nonsense. Oh, uh, it's nonsense, all right. I'm probably going mad, or it's all about that goddamn mask. Oh, the voice stopped eventually, by the way. I passed out here soon after. Can I see the mask? I hid it away, thought that maybe it would help. I marked where I hid it on your map. Yeah, so I've already found that. I know where it is. I'll take a look at it. Maybe the mask became an artifact. And the mission's called Beetle in an Anthill. The voices. Oh. It's not World War I this time. It's the Great Patriotic War. I don't know what the Great Patriotic War is. I've heard of it, but... Ah. Uh, God. Um. 19... 17? No. Ah, the Great Patriotic War is what the Russians called World War II, apparently. I, I probably knew this and forgot. Alright, where is this boar? Oh, there he is. Um, this, the gun shakes violently. It's... Oh, go on. Are you, are you helping? Oh, well, well, he's up to... Oh, it's dead. That's not dead. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's taken some punishment. Also, this thing reloads very quickly for a... Uh, you know, um... What are these called again? Uh, mu musket style. I don't know. Yeah, musket, I guess. Matchlock, is that right? What's that? A blue capsule. Small cap. You, you watch my back. <laughs> a small capsule with a blue stripe strip on the surface seems to be made of either plastic or ceramic. Consists of two halves, which cannot be broken in half, like a tracking device or something. I'm gonna leave Stepka in the village because I want to finish his quest before he uh, before he dies. Uh, like, once I finish his quest, then I'll bring him around, and if he dies, he dies. But I'd like to do his mission before he dies. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So I've succeeded, yes? Yes. Alright, good. And that used one of my waters, one of my boar's legs. Didn't use any of my potatoes. So you have to use the matchbox 
to do any cooking, right? And it, the matchbox only has one match in it, apparently. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, it's gunpowder. Dinner is served. Sit down to eat, please. Well, let's try this out. Go for it. Pretty good. I think you got the hang of this. Oh, and you need a reward for all this. Let me just finish the soup and I'll give you something. Alright, also, when I was cutting up the board, I found some kind of chip or something beneath its skin. Take a look. Huh, what the hell? What is that even supposed to be? That's what I'm asking. This looks like one of those tracker bullets that scientists use to mark mutants. There's a small GPS tracker in these that sends out info... What the fuck? <laughs> info about the mutants' positions and activity. Have the scientists been here? Yeah, a while ago, though, they went around measuring all kinds of stuff and said something along the lines of the environmental conditions here seem more stable than anywhere else in the zone, and left, so this is totally... this is totally theirs. Perhaps it should be returned to its owners. Where is the scientist camp now? If you're that bored, you can go ahead and return it, I guess. You can find them in Yantar, though that's really far away from here. You likely won't make it. But if you do, you'll be able to sell the local artifacts there for good cash. That's another reason to reach them. That's useful to know. What on earth is... that's Stepion. Or my companion, I think it's Stepion. Listen, I actually have no idea what kind of... Well, well, fuck. I have no idea what kind of reward to give you. How about this? You go talk to Skidan and I'll ask him to give you something nice while you're going there. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, see you later. Skidan's gonna give me something nice. <laughs> what the hell was that? But they've really nailed the, the horror aspect of this. Like every time the game crashes, I absolutely shit myself. And, you know, other stuff is scary, too. I'm here about the board reward. I can't remember what this guy's voice was. I think it was just usual Russian. Well done, you provided your comrades. I can give you some gear or some medicine and food. Make your pick. Ooh. I have plenty of medicine and food, so... Equipment. Field, field repair kit, backpack, mini repair kit, gunpowder, lighter. Oh, the lighter might be good. That might let me cook a lot more. Can you tell me about that cool rifle behind you? The one in the vice. That's a stare. That's the gun you're, you're using. Man, you're living the high life, huh? Ah, I wish. I got it from a newbie named Wolf. He found it on a dead tourist while wandering around the cordon. The dude was fully geared up for the task. A good suit, navigation devices, cameras, radios, and a gun. Shame it's all busted, though. Damas got himself into a witch's jelly. What's that? A real nasty thing that burns through anything. Every single thing the guy had got melted, along with him to the point where Wolf couldn't even recognize a face. The rifle was basically the only item kept mostly intact. But it's a... Unusable even then. I've tried fixing it, but I've had no success. What's the problem with it? I need some specific parts that I'm missing. A spring and a frame. Can you sell me this gun at a discount if I find the parts? Sure, will do. Does a hundred thousand sound good? What oh, fucking Jesus. That's way too much. I won't buy for anything more than 30k. Actually, I have some money from saving ste step 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 Stepion. Are you kidding me? Uh, a rifle like that costs like 150k on the black market. Well, it's used. Alright, fine. I won't be a miser. 30 it is. I just hope you actually do find the parts. My hands are itching to fix thing. Fix thing thing. Man, I love guns. Deal. Alright, how much money do I have? 5,000. I mean, I don't think there's anything I need or want. I mean, if I get infected, it'd be good to get some syrup, I suppose. Oh, matches are really cheap. Uh, I'll save my money for now, though, just in case I do need the syrup or some cheese or something. Oh, the cheese is really cheap. I think he's been running around shooting rats. That's what he's up to. That's what all the gunshots have been. Oh, man, I missed so many side quests here. So this is, like, how I get into that locked house in the corner of the village and stuff, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's body's here now. 
Uh, let's smoke. Yeah, he came in here and he never came back out. What's that? An illumination grenade. So I mean, a, like a flashbang? Mostly used during night operations to illuminate areas. Just like a flare, maybe. It's also bright enough to disorientate enemy soldiers, so it's like a flashbang and a flare. Once ignited, it takes a couple of minutes for the chemical mixture inside to burn out. Right. So like a really bright, a bright flare. And a gun. Okay. Is that, is that it? That's for all it wanted me to do here, I guess. Ah, okay. So the key is probably hidden somewhere nearby. And, like, no one seems to have noticed that there's a guy still in the house, apparently. Oh my god, I managed to climb the tree. But I don't think this is helpful. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe this is how you get in there. Fuck. Because I've looked around, like, I've been looking around for, like, five minutes in his garden, neighboring gardens, can't find a key anywhere, so I feel like this is the answer. I didn't think it'd be this easy to get into the tree. Oh, I say that, it's not that easy to get into the tree, actually. In fact, I, I might have fluked it. God damn it. Oh, okay. Nice. Made it. There's no key up here, though. I, maybe I'm not supposed to... <laughs> I'm so confused. This isn't where the key is hidden, is it? I, I just... Got lucky and got up here for a rat carcass. A delicious rat carcass. Amazing. Fuck's sake. I swear to god, this game's actually cruel. <laughs> Where is this fucking key? Oh wait, there's a box here. Oh, sh shotgun slugs, right. A shotgun buck. Well, I mean, it was slightly more worthwhile coming up here at least. Alright, I climbed this tree all the way to the top. <laughs> no, there's no key up here either. Yeah, no, they wouldn't hide the key up here. That'd be cruel, right? Um, now I'm hurt. Great. Oh, it's just here in the bush. Oh, there's a few things here. Nice. Oh, man. I'm bad at puzzles. <laughs> it's not even a puzzle, really. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, sweet. A new suit? Or... built a jacket. Rookie jacket. Okay. That's awesome. There's some bullets and some food. And you, is this gopher? It is. What the fuck just happened? What's going on? He turned into a skeleton. And now something is exploding. I'm just gonna try and leave. Oh, no, I guess I'm not gonna try and leave. Alright, uh, better read what his PDA said. PDA has been badly damaged, crushed, and thoroughly covered in dried blood. However, despite that fact, there could be a chance of the memory card still being intact. Can I use it? No. Is this... This is much worse than the suit I have. <laughs> it's slightly better for explosions, but just worse. I regret coming in here. <laughs> Go past it. Is that okay? No, it, it locked the door. There's an attic now? Or there's a way to the attic now? That wasn't there when I was up there. How am I supposed to get up there, though, without touching that? It's not doing anything. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's trying to shoot me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice try, nice try. I'm good, I'm good. I got this. Oh god, no, I don't got this. Ah. 
It's being very aggressive. What am I supposed to do? I I'm taking damage. I saved in here as well. <laughs> it's not stopping. Oh yeah, no, that really hurts. Please, please let me out. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe, maybe I kill this. No, but the glitchy. No, oh, no, Jesus. <laughs> okay, we'll try, try and just kill it really fast. Oh, it's not here. It's upstairs. I don't think I can kill it. I, I think I'm just crazy. Where, where's the key? Why did the key get deleted? Ah, uh, no, I, I have the key. No, let's take. No, but forget you. Is it over? I think I just had to wait. It seems to be gone. Oh, yeah, you just have to kind of outlast it, right, fair enough. I just hid in the corner and waited. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, I was actually supposed to find Smoke's stash as well. No, it wasn't just his body I was looting. There it is. Oh, it's a dynamite. A bunch of dynamite sticks tied together into one bundle. Comes with a handmade fuse with a timer. Cool. Exploring Gopher's hideout was an experience. Well, I found him. His body, that is. It seemed as though it was rock solid. I touched him, and he turned into a skeleton right in front of me. So, that's what happened to him. Gopher got petrified. By who or what? The zone is to blame. Sometimes a person suddenly becomes immobile, and their bodies become as hard as stone. They don't die either, and you can't move them or do anything, really. And they just stand there, motionless, until nothing but a skeleton remains. What a horrible way to go. How did this happen to him? No idea. Hey, the zone is a place where you can you can die after touching something seemingly safe and harmless. Sometimes instantly, sometimes you'll walk for days before it happens. By the way, I found Gopher's PDA. It's badly damaged, but here. Yeah, it's busted. Skidan can probably salvage the memory card and see if there's anything interesting on it. Alright, they'll bring it to him. I found Gopher's PDA. Can you extract data from it? Hand it over. What happened to Gopher? He got petrified. Yeah, rest in peace. Alright, the memory card seems to be intact. Let's see. Ah, interesting. The hell is this? What is it? Wait a moment, don't distract me. Damn, the guy has really found something crazy. Absolutely out there. Holy shit. Oh, come on now. What's in there? Here's what I've gathered from this. Smoke and Gopher were working together. At least according to their message history from... A few days prior to what occurred, they found something they called the obelisk. No clue what it is, but it seems like they were very valuable. Or rather, not the obelisk itself, but what's under it. And what's in there? Some treasure. What it is isn't mentioned anywhere. Probably just some junk and uh, that can fetch a nice price. This is nonsense. Read it for yourself if you don't believe me. I'll u upload the info to your PDA. Go for it. So, what do you think happened? To summarize, Gopher and Smoke found this obelisk, and then later Smoke had a dream about some kind of treasure buried beneath it. So they decided to go get it. Without letting anyone else know, at first they went at it with a shovel, but then they decided to use dynamite after a while for some reason. Smoke found the explosives, but their progress halted. Doesn't say why, but mentions that Gopher dug up some kind of head. I don't know what head that may be, but it really fucked with him. He got petrified shortly after, while Smoke died in an anomaly. I think this is worth looking into. Oh man, this is so cool. There's so many side quests. I can't believe I missed all of this the first time. I'm glad I restarted. I guess I could have just come back and done them, like... But yeah, I'm glad I restarted anyway, because I got to save that guy over there who also... he. I was really curious about that mask, so, like, if I didn't restart, I never would have gotten the closure there. He's still alive, right? Oh yeah, he's just over there. 
Okay, the obelisk is that big pile of junk that's kind of up on that hill. That's interesting. And the um, uh, the guy who got melted was melted in that blue glowy th uh, liquid stuff. This is really cool. Oh, and then, yeah, I've got to go and get the mask as well. There's the mask. We'll go and take that back to uh, Step Stepchen. Okay, so this is the obelisk. Uh, I picked up all of the quest or the, the stash locations off those guys as well, and I'll gather those up. Ah, okay. So I, I have Gopher's key for this. Uh, I just randomly died. I didn't notice I was taking any damage. Okay, so just don't don't go near that. Don't touch it. Don't don't step in that either. What does the note say? Smoke, I'll be leaving the tool here. I don't want to drag it over to the village as they are beginning to suspect something fishy is going on. If I come back with the shovel again, this entire thing will be done for. I felt a little better after your alcoholic tincture, but ended up not digging much today. I'll go back to my place and sleep it off. If you want to try out your luck, the shovel's in the chest. By the way, I buried the head back under the obelisk. Per your advice, good luck. Okay, so they buried a head under there. Shit, alright. Uh, I thought it was kind of bright for nighttime. Uh, I better deal with this in the morning. Oh, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I have a torch. Oh, that's my torch?! Oh, that's trash. That is not a torch. <laughs> uh, I mean, kind of. Oh no, I'm here? Oh my god, I'm hearing horrible noises. I have an objective here in the in the jelly as well. What's the that? Oh, this is spooky. I reg I regret this massively. Oh, 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 the cats are here. The cats are here. Alright, I'll deal with that tomorrow. I, I can't see a damn thing. Alright, lesson learned. Never never be out at night time. <laughs> that is fucking dark and this torch sucks. Alright, oh, the melted guy. He's in the middle. Alright, I'm gonna have to run and jump in there, aren't I? Okay, I got a ceramic container. Oh, uh, that's not that bad. Okay, so the ceramic container. A tough, airtight container covered with a ceramic coating. Such coating serves to protect against an aggressive environment, such as high-voltage electricity or acid. The lid is firmly closed. You should think twice before trying to open it. Oh, uh -huh. really? What's this? Oh, grenade launchers. Uh, I think twice before opening it. Oh, 